this is the main military strategy of the war, was to dismantle the health system. You know, when the only nephrologist in Gaza gets killed, the only pathologist in the cancer hospital <coughs> is killed. Uh, the head of neurosurgery is wounded because his house is, is targeted. Till now, there's around 290 doctors and nurses and paramedics who've been killed. And the idea was to, what we call, create a self-feeding uh, catastrophe with the destruction of the water and sewage treatment system. You will have the epidemics that you need. And by taking out the bakeries and preventing more food getting into Gaza, you will have the malnutrition that you require to create that perfect uh, 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 combination of malnutrition, injury, and, and overcrowding and unsanitary life so that epidemics can start taking their toll on people. 1.5% of the population and 1% of the children are now being killed in just 50 days. The Israelis, because they do not need Palestinian labor, extract value from the Palestinian body by creating a whole industry that is around the, the wounding and the murder and the surveillance of Palestinians. And so it almost becomes the, the Palestinian body is the mine rather than the miner where an Israeli capital creates value. The humiliation of becoming a refugee, that degradation that happens to the soul of becoming a refugee was such a formative part of Palestinian modern identity that it is a fate for Palestinians worse than death. And that's why Jabalia camp is still full of people. We need to help them stay.